Hey, good afternoon everyone, it's Corey here. Welcome to another video on the channel. So we are doing a walking video, and uh, since we have this new camera, the DJI Osmo Pocket 2, it makes filming uh, indoors a little bit easier for me. I don't have to carry a huge camera or something like that. And uh, yeah, so today we are going to go and do a walk inside of Ueno Station. So you can see behind me here, there's a Ueno Station. This is uh, part of the Yamanote line, the JR Yamanote line. It's like the main train line that goes around Tokyo, uh, central Tokyo. So it's kind of on the northern edge of that line, I guess, is the best way to describe it. You know, I, I've done some walking videos on the outside of this area and whatnot, and uh, streamed around here as well quite a few times, but I've never had a chance to show you guys the inside of a station, uh, especially this station. It's very big. There's a Shinkansen line that stops through here, uh, the bullet train, as well as uh, there, there's multiple different train lines that come in and through Ueno Station. So it kind of connects people out in Chiba, into Tokyo, um, Saitama, a lot of different areas. They come through this area. So it's a very um, busy station. But yeah, we're gonna go inside. Let's go take a look. Yeah, so it is about uh, 1.30 p.m. here on a Monday. So the lunch hour is over, but uh, yeah, we're coming in through the JR entrance, the Hirokoji entrance at Ueno Station. And you can see uh, here's a, there's an express train right there. I'm not sure which one that is, but you can see a lot of uh, trains passing over around here. Yeah, so here we go, inside. And uh, actually, I, I'm just uh, coming back from my live stream, my weekly live stream every Monday, 10 a.m. Japan time. Uh, we were just in Akabane and Jujo earlier. Took the train from there and I came here. And now I'm starting this video. So yeah, um, this is the interior. There's uh, some different corridors here. There's a Atore. Atore is kind of like a department store I guess chain, and it's owned by a JR East Railway. So that's why it's here. It's located at almost, I think, every JR station. Um, maybe. <laughs> almost every, at least every big one. But yeah, they have um, many different uh, shops, restaurants. Here's like a bakery. You can come and get your goodies for breakfast. Uh, they've got the garden here, which is kind of like a supermarket. Actually, I guess I should say it is a supermarket. And uh, Godiva chocolate is here, which I heard is uh, no longer in America or Canada. There is a Hard Rock Cafe over there. Um, upstairs, above this area, there's a food court. Um, it's very interesting because a, a lot of uh, these things are reopening because of the, the state of emergency here in Japan just ended yesterday. Uh, this area is where you charge up your tickets or um, Pasmo card or Suica card. You can see how complicated uh, the Tokyo metro lines are. There's just a ton of stations all connected, all these different um, train lines and companies. Yeah, so we're gonna go inside here, and I have a I have a Pasmo card, or sorry, I have a Suica card here that I'm gonna use in my wallet. Just uh, automatically deducts through there. We can see uh, all the different train uh, express trains and what time they leave, what station um, platform they're on, where they're headed. So they do have a uh, Japanese right now, but they also show it in English, as you can see right there on the left. So I will be taking that when I uh, head home. But I'm just gonna show you what's inside of the station. Um, New Days is a convenience store owned by JR East Railway. So I think every JR station has one of those as well. You can find some, you know, smaller places here to eat at. It's like a udon. 
Uh, is this udon? No, this is a soba and tempura kind of place. So you can find some pretty uh, simple lunch here. A little bit pricey though. It's like almost $14 for this, uh, this soba right there. Yeah. Various alcohols. We do have a uh, pasta. There's a cafe with beer, wine, and pasta and salad. All right. Um, what's nice about a lot of these bigger stations is they do have our nursery rooms, which is really cool. So, you know, for mothers and stuff, do a baby changing, uh, breastfeeding, etc. This is a nice place to tuck away with your kid. Um, ticket office. Come here, buy the different uh, bullet train tickets and stuff. And they do have a ticket machine over here as well for that. Just kind of take a look at that. Yeah, so you could purchase uh, bullet train tickets or different express train tickets from around here uh, at these different things. And then there's a specific area for the Shinkansen over here. So I can't go in there because obviously I'm not taking the the train, but um, sorry, the, the Shinkansen train, but they have an ekiben, which are like uh, train bento boxes and stuff to eat. So all of that's in there. And uh, yeah, this is, this is a pretty big station. The interior is very large. As you can see the space above me, there's a, just like platform. There's like a, a platform here on ground level with us, and then there's a platform up there. So it's like multiple platforms. Um, I'm just walking around randomly right now, just kind of giving you guy, uh, guys a sense of the space. Yeah, so this is the end of the line right here. The train will come right there. Uh, let's back up. Yeah, so there's 17 different platforms, not including the Shinkansen. So you can see there, 16, 17. Um, that's a total of 17 different platforms. That's a lot of platforms going in all kinds of different directions. This uh, thing, I don't know exactly what it says, but it's kind of message, uh, maybe a poem or something, a quote. Yeah, so down here on these platforms, these ones come less frequent, but these are uh, all like rapid express trains. So right now the ones coming to this platform uh, are not here. There's probably a different platform that you can go to if you want to go to where this line goes to, if that makes sense. So right now it's just kind of unused. Yeah. Let's go check out what some of the other platforms look like. So on this video, yeah, I'm not going to get onto the train. I mean, maybe at the end I'll show you the train that I'm going to get on, but um, I'm not going to film inside of it. Uh, just because I think uh, some of the passengers might not appreciate some guy walking around with a camera. Maybe one day we'll do a kind of like a, a walking stream, not stream, but a walking video inside of the train from like front to uh, the back or the back to the front of the train, just to give you a sense of what it's like to be inside of a train. But uh, yeah, Maino Station. Maino Station, it's a very sunny day. So they've got the skylight here above. And this is where the majority of all the platforms are. Uh, one through 12, I think, are all just in and around here. It's funny because they have these uh, low arches you can see with the yellow and black kind of warning tape on them so you don't hit your head. I'm six feet tall and uh, this is eye level to me. Like this, this 
this little lip right here is eye level to me and I'm six feet tall. So yeah, you definitely got to duck, but let's go check out some random platforms um, just to show you what it's like. So this is, uh, what do we got here? This is the Joban line and the Utsu, uh, Utsunomiya line, Takasaki line. Uh, there's uh, people waiting. You can see the different lines, like the colored lines of where they're at. That's uh, depending on the type of train that they're waiting for. And um, what's useful is you can see which car number it is and which door. Uh, and uh, if I go up here, this actually, it's like an overpass. It connects over to the other tracks. Inside of uh, train stations, like subway stations and stuff, they usually have uh, some interesting vending machines. It's where you can usually see like a touchscreen vending machine. Uh, sometimes they've got snack vending machines. The snack vending machines aren't so common on the streets. Like as you're walking around the city streets and stuff, you're, you're probably not going to see much of these. They're usually more convenient for uh, people commuting. So you can see here, uh, different snacks, power bars, some candy, some truffle chocolate. It's a little bit noisy with all the announcements and stuff, but uh, you know this is part of the ASMR that you guys get to experience. Yeah, and some of the rapid trains, they have a, a green car. What that means is it's kind of like better than the normal seating. You pay a little bit extra more here at these stations and you get like a, it's like a private car with forward facing seats and uh, you do have to present your ticket to a conductor. So if you wanted to, you could pay for it. It's not too much more expensive than just the normal train fare. Uh, this is a convenience store on the train platform. It's a very small one. And uh, some stations actually have restaurants like uh, ramen shops or something. Uh, so here, here's a good example. So this is the normal part of the train and then you can see this like bubble, like double car kind of a thing. This is the green car. So you, you pay a little bit extra at those things and you get to sit in one of those. And usually there's not a lot of people on that because you have to pay extra. Most people just ride the, the basic ones here. And here's something I didn't know for like over a year and a half of living in uh, Tokyo area. Um, the rapid trains and the semi-rapid trains and uh, semi-express trains, those are all uh, accessible without paying additional. So like your, your normal fare to ride a normal uh, train covers those trains. I did not know that. So I was taking just the normal trains. I was avoiding the express trains because I thought you had to pay extra, but you don't. So um, once I discovered that I could take these uh, rapid trains and stuff, oh man, I've been using nothing but that. And it saved so much time. So yeah, just a little uh, tip when you come to Japan. If you see like a rapid express, rap semi-rapid, uh, your normal train like pass or whatever covers that. Coming out to the end here of this platform. Yeah, let's go to the end. Can you hear the jingle? I like all the little jingles. I love all the different stations and lines have different jingles. It's really cool.
Alright. So we're coming out to the end over here. Obviously we can't walk out there, it's dangerous, you're not supposed to. But you can walk up to it and you know take photos and stuff. There's a lot of train buffs here in Japan, just like people really obsessed with trains. And you'll see them like sometimes just scouting out these places with like a, a nice camera with a huge like zoom lens or something and taking some some nice pictures. But here comes a train. Overpass, just kind of hop over to a different track, different platform. If you guys are liking what you're seeing so far, let me know in the comments down below. You know, leave, leave a little message that says, Corey, I love you. <laughs> and I'll know that you made it this far. Uh, up in this uh, upper area here, there's also some shops and stuff. And um, Ueno Station connects directly to Ueno Park, which has a zoo and many museums and stuff. So there's like uh, motifs in here of animals and especially pandas because there's a, a panda, uh, there's several pandas at the zoo here. So you can see a kind of a stork or something. This is a newer section. This actually connects directly to Ueno Park. This is a very new entrance. Uh, it's called Park Gate, and it just opened recently. But you can see there's still a lot of construction. They've got the construction barrier here on the left. And the ceiling is, yeah, there's like guys working right now. kind of dark in here. Yeah, they haven't really installed a lot of lighting. But I believe that all of this should be open in the next few weeks because they're trying to have it open by the Olympics, uh, by the time the Olympics begin. So they've got about one month left. Today is June 21st. Yeah, so we've been walking by a lot of lockers. Uh, there's plenty of lockers here. All of these have their green lights on. There's so many available. Sorry for the noise. Yeah, over here we've got a Ueno Land, which is a, kind of like a little gacha. Gachapon corner, Gachapon shop, I guess. So there's a lot of different gacha here. So many different little ones. Oh, sorry for the flickering. That's not good. Um, I think you guys get the gist. Yeah, I'll be uh, making a, a video at a different gacha store near my house, so um, don't worry, don't worry. I will visit one that has way more machines than that, and it's gonna be a very interesting one. I'll be filming that, uh, I think, this week. There's a shop. You can see the Panda Daruma doll inside there. See the lion. Um, what else is in here? They've got a drugstore. It's a kusuriya. Kind of small little pharmacy shop. 
which is nice. I, I've like bought eye drops or you know, kind of a headache medicine or something like that one time from here. Very handy. If you guys are interested what a, a Japanese drugstore or pharmacy looks like, check out this playlist right now. Um, I did a, a full tour, like over an hour inside of a um, Japanese pharmacy. They've got these special um, kind of touristy, they're, they're by Japan Souvenir. Uh, I guess this is like a brand for uh, tourists and they have special gacha. So this one's like related to trains. It's got like the bullet train and some mascot. And then here's uh, one related to Ekiben. So this is the, the, the lunch boxes and stuff that you could buy and eat on the train. So it's like themed, you know, because Ueno Station is a huge station for, uh, you know, riding the bullet train and whatnot, so. Yeah, let me cut through the middle of this uh, upper floor because there is a, a whole bunch of like food shops here. Yeah, so there's a lot of food shops here. This place sells uh, cakes and delicacies. These are good for like gifts. Lots of different cookies. Wow. There's also in here, there's more food. They've got more of the panda themed cookies and stuff like that. Jellies, cakes. These are good uh, gifts. Good package gifts. Uh, it's kind of awkward. Everyone's just staring at me. There's not that many customers right now, so I think they're just looking for a potential sale. Oh, they've got the Ekiben Bento here. You can choose the different kinds of rice that you want. Nice. These are all really tasty looking. Karaage chicken. You can get uh, sushi, lots of different sushi here. Yeah, so these are like 13 uh, bucks, roughly 1,300 yen, since a 900 yen. So they're a little bit more expensive than the supermarket, but they're really good quality. Here we can get kind of uh, some salads. There's smoked salmon salad. Other things by weight. It's 432 yen for 100 grams of the, the broccoli avocado salad mix. That's pretty good. And more fried foods, a bunch of age, more fried stuff, roast katsu. Um, as they come out here, there's just more of that kind of stuff on this side. This is a kind of like teishoku bento, ekiben, teishoku ekiben. It's kind of like more traditional Japanese meals. For example, like uh, um, saba, which is mackerel and rice, tempura. These are like really beautiful. You can see them uh, boxing it up right here. Yeah, so I think you guys get the gist of it, right? Lots of goodies here, lots of goodies. A little bit expensive, but really good. I think the quality is very nice. And uh, they've got more snacks and like coffee and other stuff in this kind of a store right here. More food on that side, smoothies.
it's big. This, this station is big. Um, when I first came here, it was like super easy for me to get lost in. I, I couldn't figure out which way to get out. So Central Gate is where I started the video from, and I've learned that that is how I escape <laughs> from this place. And I got more like high-end souvenirs right here, kind of daily life things, neckties, bags, notebook paper. And then they do have a full-fledged bookstore, like not just a little one, but like an actual full-fledged bookstore. Let's go take a look. Yeah. A lot of magazines. Language books. Lots of novels. Novels. More novels. There is uh, adult themed stuff right there. So, yeah, just straight up like basically uh, erotic novels and stuff. Um, yeah. And then we are entering kind of the manga section. So there's going to be like every category of manga, you know, the popular stuff, the boys love stuff, the obscure stuff. Yeah, see, this is a, it says BL Comics. So this is all boys love right here. Very popular category. Ooh, Final Fantasy. Lost Stranger. That's cool. Final Fantasy manga. Lots of different titles here. Venture out around the corner. Yeah, this might seem like a lot of manga to you, but actually, I've seen bookstores with probably three times the amount of manga that we've seen so far in here. This manga section is actually not that big compared to uh, some other shops around Japan. But very good selection, though. Very, very good selection. Shaman King. Yeah, so we got the latest and greatest Kimetsu no Yaiba. This is a demon slayer. It's an attack on Titan. Yeah, they even have some uh, kind of more like toys and other like products related to those different things. See, yeah, like for example, here's Demon Slayer stuff, postcards, pens, keychains, even um, shirts. Lots of keychains, so many different keychains. What's cool is it looks like uh, these are separated by where they are around Japan. So, you got like Kyushu, and so there's like different things. Uh, related to, it looks like this, the regional foods around Japan. And actually, here's a whole map right here of every one and where it's from in Japan. It's all Demon Slayer keychains. Wow. I'm sure someone has this entire collection right here. Wow, that's amazing. So are 440 yen each. It's about four dollars and change. Yeah, wow. So many. So yeah, let's uh, let's go scope out maybe um, 
another train platform and then I'm gonna make my way to my express train, my rapid train, and I'm gonna head back to Matsudo. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, go ahead and go home. Yeah, very easy to get lost in here. But once you, you know, come through this area enough times, you kind of figure it out. They've got uh, Tokyo Jangara. This ramen shop is pretty good. The Kyushu Jangara is my favorite. Um, is this the same brand? It kind of looks like it. Really good ramen. Um, one of my early videos visiting Akihabara, uh, I ate at one of those. So, I don't know, if you go back far enough, and I think it's like day in Japan or something like that, Akihabara, um, I visit one of those uh, jangaras, Kyushu jangara ramen shops. Yeah, so the gacha, some of the gacha is, like I mentioned, uh, themed around the station. So we've got the panda and some different animals related to the Ueno Zoo that's here. Um, because this is on the Yamanote line, they've got the Yamanote line uh, different stops. It's like a little bag, whatever you want to put in it. Like stationary or, I don't know, money or something. Yeah, okay, I think I did a... Okay, yeah, I came up here already. But let me um, just go down to the Yamanote line and show you what that platform looks like. Uh, let's look at what's outside here. Here's the view. Alright, let me, um, yeah, here's a Yamanote line. It's the green, the green one there. We are uh, two stops away from Akihabara Station. Wait, is it two? Two or three. <laughs> I can't remember. I think it's, maybe it's two. Yeah, sounds like the Keihin Tohoku line is about to leave. Yep, saying the doors are gonna close. And that's this blue line train right here on the left side. Yep, the door just closed. And there it goes. So over here on this side is the Yamanote line, the JR Yamanote line. And this is the one that I mentioned that loops around Tokyo, central Tokyo. I consider central Tokyo anything, like anything within this Yamanote line circle. If it's within it, it's central Tokyo. That's, that's my definition of central Tokyo. I don't know what other people consider central Tokyo, but yeah, that's my definition. Let's see all the way down. They've got these uh, platform guard doors here. And uh, I wonder if I can zoom in down there. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, this has a digital zoom on this camera, which I don't really use, but um, there it is. It's kind of not easy to control. And it's digital, it's not, it's not optical, so it kind of sucks. Yeah, the train's coming, so... Your attention, please. Let's go find a the spot. The train bound for Tokyo and oh, Shinano here. will soon arrive on track number three for your seat. Please stand behind the yellow line. So I'm not gonna get on this train, but I'm just here to show you what it looks like when the train arrives, the sounds. Um, so that's that. Usually let people off first and then you get on. So I get a different view here. Wow. 
so loud. And there she goes. Yeah, so I'm gonna head up and I'm gonna head back over uh, towards where my rapid express train um, is gonna take off from. So we gotta go back up. <laughs> Yeah. What, what's uh, interesting to you guys so far? I'm curious. Let me know in the comments down below. Did you guys see any cool things? You guys have questions about anything? Okay, so uh, where, how can I get home? Uh, right there, special rapid train to Chiura on track six. That'll take me back to my stop. Yeah, okay, that's it. It's at 2.09. It is now 2.03. So, track six. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so, we just had to go over one track. And this will take me back to Matsudo. Oh, someone's running. Yeah, okay, actually this is the, uh, the track platform that we were on earlier. <laughs> it's funny that uh, we're back on it again. But, uh, I'm gonna go to the front of the train. Usually in the middle sections of the train is the, cr the most crowded because people try to get near the stairs. When they get off the train, they just want to immediately go up the stairs. So, like, you can see the, tr uh, the stairs right across the, the way there. Or these stairs right here. Yeah, these are kind of more towards the center of the train. And, uh, the ends aren't. So, yeah, usually, like, the beginning of the car or the end of the car. Uh, track. Uh, sorry. Train. God, I can't talk. It's, uh, going to have less people. So we've got about uh, four minutes before my train leaves, or actually arrives and then leaves. So yeah, I guess um, I'm gonna find my spot over here and just kind of wait. Uh, you can see some of the, the metal work around here. This is just so uh, rusty. And the paint's like kind of peeling. Can we see that there? Yeah, that thing's weathered. But yeah, guys, that's it. That's a, kind of a, a simple tour of inside of um, Ueno Station. Uh, here comes um, some rapid express train. I wonder where that one's going to. See down there. All right. All right, guys. I think that's it for me here um, in Ueno Station. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Leave all the comments and questions down below. Make sure you check out the other videos on my channel. The playlists and stuff like that have a lot of amazing content that you guys um, might enjoy. Yeah. So uh, once again, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out the memberships for exclusive content uh, directly from me, get wallpapers and uh, behind the scenes access, behind the scenes photos, 
all that stuff. Click the join button and you'll see more info about it. Thing is so loud. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.